We need to distinguish between a movement along the ice curve and a shift of the ice curve. Let's start by drawing the ice curve. It shows all the combinations of interest rate and production where the goods market is in equilibrium. At a given interest rate, say 10%, the goods market is in equilibrium at level of production Y1. If we change the interest rate side to 8%, the goods market is in equilibrium at Y2. What can we see? A change in the interest rate causes a movement along the ice curve. We move from this point on the ice curve to this point on the ice curve. So a change in the interest rate causes a movement along the ice curve. If any of the autonomous variables that has an effect on the demand for goods and services change, we will have a shift of the ice curve. How does that work? Let's start with a change in autonomous consumption spending. And let's increase autonomous consumption spending. Let's start with an interest rate of 10%. We have an increase in autonomous consumption spending. Therefore, the demand for goods and services will increase at the given interest rate. At the interest rate of 8%, demand for goods and services will also increase somewhere here to the right. If we link these points, we see the ice curve has shifted to the right. Let's take, for example, a decrease in autonomous investment spending. How will this affect the ice curve? Well, autonomous investment spending decreased. So at an interest rate of 10%, demand for goods and services decreased. Somewhere to the left, say, yeah. Similarly, at an interest rate of 8%, a decrease in demand for goods and services. We're at this point here, and if we link these points, we see the ice curve has shifted to the left. An increase in autonomous government spending will increase demand for goods and services, therefore the ice curve will shift to the right. The last example is an increase in taxes. Now, if, if taxes increase, what will happen to the ice curve? A shift to the right? No. The increase in taxes, spending will decrease in the economy, therefore the ice curve will shift to the left. As we can see, a change in interest rate will cause a movement along the ice curve, and a change in any of the autonomous variables that affect the ice curve will cause a shift of the ice curve.